My biggest blessing for going to the Dominican Republic is actually um, being reminded that I'm a servant and that I serve family when I go down there. Elvis and Risa, even though they're hundreds of miles away, are definitely part of our family. Um, and it's a blessing to be able to serve and bless them as a servant of God. One way that the missions impacted me was throughout the week I felt a lot of joy in what I was doing because I felt like I had a purpose there. I felt like I was living out what God wanted me to do every single day. And I think partially that was working in a group of people who are strong in their faith and also doing devotions with them every single morning and being accountable with each other. I think that was really helpful, but also like doing hard work. Like the hard work obviously isn't fun, but I think it's really good that, and it helps us like grow as Christians. things I learned about missions um, is that well before we went we watched a video and we learned from that that it's not about the work you get done and like the passing bricks for example or the painting the houses like it's not about the tough work but it's about making relationships and getting to know people So I think the biggest thing God taught me in the week in the D Dominican was just get out of my comfort zone because uh, I think in life I just stick with like my own friend group and I just hang out with them all the time. Like I need to go outside of the people I'm comfortable with who especially are like already Christian and like talk to the people that like are not and like share the gospel with people that actually need it. Probably the most important thing that I remember is about what I'm doing for God and how I'm doing the things that I do for God. Instead of expect that the people come to me or to my house or to the church to looking for God, I would say that we should go wherever they are. We need to go wherever the people is meeting, share with them, love them, and let the Jesus love change the people. It's not about how good we pre preach the gospel, but it's about how good we share the love of Jesus.